Xin chào, what's up everybody? Chuck Mung Nam Oi season is here. We are at the cultural center of the youth for another Tet Festival. Through my channel, you've seen how this uh, festival has expanded through the years. We came a bit later than usual we would to film this, so let's take a look and check it out. Uh, it, we're way before Tet still. You know, Tet has gotten off to a much earlier season this year. A lot of people have left the city already, like which is a bit ahead of schedule. You know, Tet's long this year, and it seems to have gotten kicked off earlier. Like there would be even last year, way more people here right now. So I mean, I tried to maximize the amount of people. I should have been here a week ago. Like everybody's gone and traveled right now around. If they're going to do the travel, they're doing it. It's not a fun time to travel, in my opinion. If you like long airport queues, lines everywhere, travel during Tet. Now there are some advantages if you travel somewhere where like you drive a car yourself, you know, rent a whole house with a pool with a whole family and you're never leaving and you're hanging out there the whole time. That's a different scenario. I have to start explaining myself more on what I say, so I'm gonna start doing that. I think I leave too many things open to just an understanding. Uh, it's so much more decorated this year. This looks nice. We'll come back hopefully when the music's off. Go check out the food. I don't know if that song's copyrighted. pictures you can just take another one when people wait for pictures it's weird I mean I mean it for peace and love but I'm not gonna hold up while you take a picture and I don't expect you to either I can just wait and take the picture at the right time there is a lot of booths vending a bunch of crap nobody needs they, you know this is what they do you're gonna have tourists walk through here and stuff this is the calligraphy stuff, you know. Let's go the long way. You can go through the middle now, but let's go around the long way and see what they have here. So all the calligraphy stuff as usual. I think Winnie was with us last year. She'll, she'll pop in again on these videos. She's in Dilat right now. For like a family, one day family trip. She tried to rope me in and like the majority of the trip is just driving in the car. I'm like, no. I love you, but I gotta work and stuff. Like, I'm gonna be sitting in a car for like 16 hours over a one-day period. That's pretty wild. And not much has changed. They've kind of got this permanently set up now, as the market down here where they like vent the clothes and all that stuff. And then we've got the little games. There should be like a beer booth over here. More stores. Door dragon. There should be a, a little beer station around here. Bats is always right. Those shoulders never lie, baby. Shoulders never lie. You can change everything, but I don't know if they have a shoulder surgery yet. But I think that's the final, the voice and the, sur and the shoulders. It's really, it smells like burnt dog food here right now. Not an attractive smell. Literally smells like if you ever cooked wet dog food and it burns, that's what it smells like here right now. Burnt, wet, dog food. Uh, this is more, so this has become more of like a company cash grab thing, which has always been a thing in Vietnam, but I mean, Miranda, the soda company's got their stuff everywhere. So like the same girls clothing, 
all the same stuff they've always had here. Nothing too, too crazy new. We're getting into a traffic jam down here. Again, they've set it up a little tight for all this traffic. This isn't what I would call an enjoyable walkthrough through a market right now. You know, I get it because it's not always busy like this. So this makes sense to have it set up like this. But for this flow of traffic, it's it, this isn't awesome. It's like you're kind of walking through a rave at the back. If you've ever been to a rave at the back of it. It's hot in here too. They've got no air moving around. All these lights are on. Again, not a big deal, but I'm just commenting on what's happening as I walk through. My like change of temperature because I'm getting hotter. Just like walking through that brief little area. And then there'll be a bunch more stuff on the outside. I'll show you. You know the same little foods here. I'm surprised the beer company wasn't the sponsor, but. Usually a beer company is a sponsor here. Uh, we've seen all these foods in other videos. There's gonna be a whole thing set up out here. So we'll walk around on the outside here. There's gonna be like calligraphy and more stuff for sale. I'm planning a trip to Vietnam. Awesome, bro. I'm talking to the chat. Glad you found the channel. Vietnam's awesome, enjoy it. We're live streaming right now, but I'm shooting a video. This is so walking. You know, one of my pet peeves is like uh, slow walking. Or like not just be not be, not understanding your surrounding and like slowing down people behind you to stop. My wife does it all the time. Like, I'm like, why are you stopping in the middle of like a? To me, it's like the way my mind works. When you're like walking on something like this and you just stop and you're not concerned with anyone behind you, it's like stopping your car on a highway and being like, well, you worry about it. Again, these are just little. I don't care about it anymore. It used to be more of a, like, I can't believe these people, or, or anybody. It's not, and let me specify, this is not a Vietnamese thing. All people just stop when they walk, and they don't really concern about like what's going on behind them. Every culture, every race does it. Americans might be the worst. They, they do it a lot. It's the same. This looks just very much the same. I don't know if we're going to continue to film these in the years coming up. This might be like the last year we do these. It's just so much of the same stuff. Like, it's cool, but I think almost what I have to do, which not what <laughs> maybe I want to do, is be somewhere else in another city and film their tent and what it looks like. And stuff. Even though it's a, a great difficulty to travel and go places during Tet. But, you know, probably we'll have another video here next year. People like to see this stuff. You know, I get email requests and DMs. They're like, when's the Tet videos coming? When's the culture? Like, they, people ask me for this exact video of doing this. So, well, for some of us, we've seen this already. For other people, they enjoy it. So I try to make as many people happy within my... Uh, in my abilities that I can, you know. Yeah. Tap rules. All right, now we can go to the main stage. This is all Fugazi over here. Let's see if we can walk this way Get a little bit better. Calligraphy. <laughs> Alright, so now let's look at the main stage and wrap this thing up. I'm going to shoot another festival tomorrow over in District 2, and then there's the other one at the park in a couple days after that. So, a lot of stuff coming up. There'll be District 6 stuff coming up, Chinatown, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of videos. If you want to watch me live stream, I do it over at kick.com. 
forward slash ZBATS, Z-B-A-T-Z, that is my last name. So if you want to watch me stream, that's where we do it. There's all kinds of available extra content on the Patreon. It's a crowdfunded website, $5 a month if you choose to sign up. A bunch of cool stuff over there. A lot of the hot spots in Mune and uh, Nacheng were covered in those videos on Patreon. So. Let's check out the main page. It's the main stage. job of decorating this year. Music's up way loud to where it hurts your ears. Yeah, it's way too loud. I don't know. The volume thing's always, I think, going to be a problem. They look at it as, I guess it'll attract more people as their mindset is still. It happens everywhere with volume on everything. It's just, it's just too loud. But I think they probably have a, a, a hearing, a lot of hearing issues here. It's so loud. It's like, you know, it's not, the highs are too high, so it like cuts to your ear. You got food and stuff down here. Like, I don't even want to be in here, it's so loud. Yeah, it's just, it's so unpleasant. I mean, it's still very loud out here. It's just... I still can't walk out of the, the noise. I'm trying to walk away from it to have a, a closing outro, and I still have to yell over the microphone. It's wild. And, and you know, they're not really in tune. These aren't the greatest musicians right now singing, so I don't think you need the volume up that particularly loud. But I mean, we're, we're what? A hundred yards away, and now I can talk to you guys. So, again, it, it, this stuff's cool if you're here. We've covered it so many times. Overall, I'm not trying to be negative at all. I'm just explaining to you what I see. So, take it how you want to take it. It was still an enjoyable walkthrough. I still had fun. If you come here, make sure you get some food. I didn't see anywhere to get a beer this year, but I'm sure there's somewhere that has beer there. Take your girlfriend, watch a little bit of the stage, enjoy the time here. So, as ever, Chuck Mung Namoy, we'll see you on the next one. Stay frosty. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.